be a horse. So I have nine horses cut out so far. You breathe loud. Nine horses cut out so far. And because this is a little bit thin, I'm gonna go scrounge my house for more cardboard. I do have some EVA foam to go on like the last layers, but uh, not enough. And I don't feel like ordering more. So to scrounging. Also a baker and a millennial because I hoard boxes. Okay, so I have gone and cut out pretty much all of the horse heads out of all of the cardboard I can find that's big enough, and even this one chunk of EVA foam which I bought thinking it would be enough. Ha ha me, ha ha. Oh, Robo feeding time. Um, so I'm going to, I think, try and use some of the packing foam, it's not foam, styrofoam, that we have hoarded in the basement, uh, to go in between some of these layers to space it out, and then I have to carve it all into shape, which will be interesting because I don't know what I'm doing, so, yay! For hydration and weight while I cut out my patterns. Pieces, horse heads, dog toy, some Gatorade. Hmm. Okay, so I have my stack of, <gasps> pardon my hiccups, uh, I think there's 15 cardboard cutouts of the horse head, like so. No, no ears, no mane yet. Um, and I found this stick. I don't remember what it's from, but I'm gonna use it for my hobby horse because it's a decent length. And then in this crafting box, I have part in my hiccups. Um, one side each of foam horse head and in attempts to make it a little bit lighter I'm gonna have spaces in between everything so it's not super super heavy and we'll see how that works out oh and this piece it's like a collar at the bottom of the horse head 
so it'd be like a 3D thing. I'm gonna make entirely out of foam, just cause it's not, not that structural and I don't want to add any more weight than I have to onto this thing cause I have to lug it around and yeah. trace this and then I'm gonna cut into the board so that this sits in the cutout and I'm gonna put a cross piece here so it doesn't roll when I have it in hand so I've contact cement that together so it's one piece that's flattening out a little bit because it's still too curled from being in a roll and now I have foam clay which I'm going to make the skull on the back of Alice's dress, like it goes in the middle of the bow. That's what I'm gonna try and make out of this. Uh, <laughs> wish me luck. So for the skull, I need to like make a base. So I'm gonna scrunch some of this up with some tin foil, do the Rachel Maxi tin foil trick and get the general shape and size that I need, and then I'm gonna sculpt the foam clay over top. Owls. Oh no, I've lost my end. Oh, there it is. Yep. This is poor planning. Like skull adjacent, right? I love crafting. Through the power of junk, let's make other junk. I think he's kind of lopsided, but um, you know what? As a base, it'll do. Never used foam clay before, but all I can think is hee hee hee, squooshy. Um, I probably want to put something down on the carpet though, because I have a feeling it's not gonna come out if I if I get it in the threads. So we're just gonna go get something to put this on. sculpt your hair into it. Not very good at sculpting. Not very good at paper mache. Have fun. Definitely working my hair into this, like every other project. It's like 
pulling apart gum. So I've got kind of a glue train going on here. I'm gluing them in twos first, and then I'll go up from there. And hopefully soon we will have a horse-sized horse head situation going on. Like my weights, partially weights, partially shoes, partially buttons. It's a good system. <laughs> 